the speech, get your fire back. Are you inspired, ladies and gentlemen, with the speech of Toastmaster with a raise of hands? Were you inspired? Yes. 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 We were inspired. And why were we inspired? Because the way Toastmaster Sanjay delivered his speech today, because the various tools he used to deliver his speech, first, he connected with the audience. And how he connected with the audience? He created three situations. He ignited our imaginations by those three situations, and we were connected. He used metaphors throughout his speech, pile of oaths. He gave life examples of situations which we could feel close to, the example of Dangal, the example of MS Dhoni. And most importantly, he created a connection by talking about life events of himself. When he said, when he gave personal anecdotes about quitting smoking, when he gave personal anecdotes about how he was running a marathon, when he created the imagination of our, in our mind by talking about the Genda circle, the Habmore circle, and in our mind we clear that Toastmaster Rajesh is running a marathon. So, sorry, Toastmaster Sanjay is running a marathon. I am actually in the thick of it. <laughs> Next, how did he con uh, make his speech inspiring? He Change. He challenged the status quo. How did he challenge the status quo? He said that life will throw challenges at you. And if you don't work for the challenges, you will keep on failing. If you fail, if you have fear to fail, you will not grow. Thereby, he created a sense of concern. He created a sense of fear challenging the status quo, which is very important in inspiring speech. Throughout his speech, he has given a CC10. And throughout his speech, elements of CC1 to CC9 were quite evident, like the flow. What, one thing I like about Toastmaster Sanjay is the way he flows his entire speech. So very smooth. The use of metaphors, the use of triads, emotionally, mentally, physically, eye contact. I think everyone had an eye contact with him. The gestures, he was running in his speech. When he was talking about his family, he had emotions in his face and we connected. What a body language, what a use of stage, and what a use of his hands. A perfect speech. Saying that, there was one point which I feel, if that could have been incorporated, this speech, I'm coming to that, and that was, I say, creating a crescendo. How we do it, as the flow, we create a contrast. From low speech, we go to high speech. As I say that, he said, every mark made my resolve stronger. I would say, every mark made my resolve stronger. And creating a crescendo that would attract the audience. Only that part, I feel. I have to summarize, he connected with the audience. He challenged the status quo. He had a body language. He had metaphors. And he had a perfect CC10. <laughs> I like listening to you. Today I am happy you have completed CC10. I am looking forward to your ACBs coming ahead. All those Thank you.